Hi guys, so there seems to be a schism appearing between the Parliamentary Conservative Party and Number 10. You would generally imagine they were tied, working in unison, but following a number of by-election losses, both parliamentary and local, following public anger over how Number 10 has partied, and how this anger from members of the public has been directed at Tory MPs, a number of members of Parliament have begun calling for Boris Johnson to resign. The response from Number 10 is intimidation, it seems, and the Tory party is having none of it. Listen to committee chair William Ragg describe blackmail against MPs. In recent days, a number of members of Parliament have faced pressures and intimidation from members of the government because of their declared or assumed desire for a vote of confidence in the party leadership of the Prime Minister. It is, of course, the duty of the Government Whip's office to secure the government's business in the House of Commons. However, it is not their function to breach the ministerial code in threatening to withdraw investments from members of Parliament's constituencies which are funded from the public purse. Additionally, reports to me and others of members of staff at Number 10 Downing Street, special advisers, government ministers and others encouraging the publication of stories in the press seeking to embarrass those who they suspect of lacking confidence in the Prime Minister is similarly unacceptable. The intimidation of a Member of Parliament is a serious matter. Moreover, the reports of which I am aware would seem to constitute blackmail. As such, it would be my general advice to colleagues to report these matters to the Speaker of the House of Commons and the Commissioner of the Metropolitan Police and they're also welcome to contact me at any time. Wow, okay, so there's so much to say about this. What's happening is, as I said in the introduction, members of parliament are concerned about Boris Johnson's behavior. Members of parliament are worried about their own position. And the traditional conservative party, who have no real loyalty to Boris Johnson, and I've said this before, the conservative party doesn't have a loyalty to the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister is a tool. But Boris Johnson is unlike other Prime Ministers. Normally, scandals would have forced the Prime Minister out and the Conservative Party would regroup and uh, select a new uh, Prime Minister, a new leader, and go forward. But Boris Johnson is staying there longer than, uh, than he's expected to stay. And you're probably wondering, well, why don't, why don't they just kick him out? But the problem is that there are, there are issues within the party. The party, and Boris Johnson has reformed the party because he's kicked out a lot of, back in 2019, he kicked out a lot of the old guard. So it's more difficult for them to organize against the prime minister. And then you have all these new people who came in in 2019 who uh, are loyal to a sense to, you know, to Boris Johnson. He got them their seat. But also they are worried because, as we've seen with the defection on Wednesday, these people are also worried that they could lose their seat at the next election. And they're not traditional Tories. They're just people who came in on Boris Johnson's coattails. So you have the party, the traditional section of the party, very concerned about the future of the party. You have a faction within the party that is somewhat loyal to Boris Johnson, but they're concerned. They see that if we get rid of Johnson, uh, we're going to lose our seats as well. So they're holding on to that. And you also have these other factions which are growing within the party, which isn't mentioned much about, like the, the ERG or the CRG, the Brexit Hardman, Steve Baker's groups or the Desmond Swain <clears throat> groups. These are also creating problems. And they see Boris Johnson as a tool to use. Now... The response from number 10 to threats or to allegations that he sh or suggestions that he should resign is to blackmail, it seems, <laughs> these MPs, either by saying, as he said here, withholding funding or reaching out to their friends in the media and uh, digging up some dirt on these MPs. So if you call for Boris Johnson to resign, well, we're going to punish you. And that should not be what the, the chief whip is doing. The sh chief whip should deal with the issues of the party, try to maintain unity, <clears throat> and try and uh, push MPs to support policies, not so much defend Boris Johnson. 
and we've seen how many MPs have been going out on a limb to defend Boris Johnson. Is that because they think he's doing a good job or is that because they're afraid that they could lose their seat? Are they afraid that they could lose funding or are they afraid that the Daily Mail or the Express or the Telegraph will dig up some dirt on them? So it's going to be a very interesting few weeks going ahead. Who is going to win here? Is Boris Johnson going to win? Is the Conservative Party going to win? Well, we know who's going to lose. The voters, the, the country, because this is a distraction and it uh, creates bad government. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.